What up YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a video with a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. Spring Train TTM successes, pickups for the PC, Game of Thrones set editions, care packages from YouTube, and a video response for Pepino Man's 200 sub contest response. Uh, he has a really awesome contest going on that I wanted to make a response for, so let's get into it. A lot of stuff. Uh, First, I'm going to show the spring training successes. They're both out of Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. The first one here is coming back from former Philly and former Philly GM. Now current third base coach for the Boston Red Sox, Ruben Amaro Jr. So he signed this 92 Fleer Ultra in black Sharpie. Came out really nice. And he also signed this uh, Ballpark Heroes card, the Myco Custom in black Sharpie. So really nice, a nice 2 of 2 success from Ruben Amaro Jr. And then on to the next return, which is coming from a current player who is the Phillies closer. This is out of Heritage. Nice signature here of Jenmar Gomez. So inscribed number 46 and also a Bible's verse. So very nice there. So a nice 101 success from Jenmar Gomez. So really awesome. Now on to the pickups for the PC. Uh, the first one here. Uh, picked this up for under $5 ship. Just could not beat the price. Really cheap. And th this guy was drafted by the Phillies last year in the 2016 draft. No, it's not Mickey Moniak, but it is the guy who came after him. Kevin Gowdy. So this is out of Leaf Trinity. And he inscribed Go Phillies. So, nice one there. Hopefully, in a couple years, he can contribute to the big league club. We shall see. Next, also picked this up for, I mean, dirt cheap. And whenever I see PSA cards selling for under what they grade for, I'll automatically pick them up, depending on if the grade is, you know, acceptable. And this is a mint nine, so you can't beat it. A 2016 Topps Chrome rookie refractor autograph of Jared Eichhoff. So as you can see there, it's a Mint 9. Refractor Auto. Right there on the back is the numbering. Apologies about the glare. There, you should be able to see it real good there. It's number 305 out of 499. So Jared Eichhoff. So that's probably going to be the last thing from him that I pick up, but like I said, it popped into my feed, and I'm just like, uh, it's so cheap, you got to get it. So it was one of those purchases. Uh, next, on to the Game of Thrones Season 3 Set Edition. Uh, this is a autograph here of Ellie Kendrick, who plays Mira Reed. Nice autograph there. So I think that brings um, the set down to either six or seven cards I need. And I'm going to be making a, a separate video this week for a gigantic, I mean gigantic Season 3 set edition that is coming in. I mean, a, a card that costs north of $100. I mean, I got a fantastic deal on it, but I can't wait for that card to come in. And when the, it does come in, you guys will be seeing it. So, there's that. Uh, on to... The care packages, got to find them first. Uh, the first one here is from Ricky Russo. And he had a video a little while back where he uh, had like 50 cards. And you could put a claim on it to try to get it. And I claim this one. Ben Simmons, rookie card out of Donruss for my Sixers PC. So thank you very much, Ricky. This is my first Ben Simmons card. Was really hoping he would play this year, but I think the Sixers in their quest to get more lottery balls held him out. Because, as far as I know, he's practicing before every single game, and he's traveling with the team. So, like I said, they want to get those lottery balls, so they held him out. So I'll be really curious to see how he does next year. Really looking forward to seeing him play. Her, he has a lot of hype around him, so we'll see. And then this next card that he sent me is uh, Aaron Nola, Bowman Chrome, rookie card for the Phillies PC. 
So thank you, Ricky. I greatly appreciate that. Um, always hooking it up and uh, appreciate everything you do, Ricky. So I'm going to leave his link down below. Guys, please go check out Ricky Russo for whatever reason. Um, if you're not subscribed to him, please go check him out. Always breaking so many different products. And uh, you get to see what's in this stuff. You get to see what these card companies are pushing on us. So thank you, Ricky. Um, and then next, I got a care package from Mr. Jay McGillicuddy. And he put, hi, Ed. Hope uh, this fits into your collection better than mine. Thank you for your support and best of luck in your card collecting. Thanks, Jay McGillicuddy. And Jay, it was so funny when this package came in because I was actually looking for one of the high-tech Red Sox autographs that I had in one of my card boxes. I couldn't find it. And I did find it the day that this package came in from you. And I'm planning on sending it to you anyway, so uh, expect a package sometime this week maybe. Or maybe next week, but whenever I get to the post office. But here's the cards that he sent me. It's a really nice Topps Anniversary card of Mike Schmidt. Nice Ozzy Virgil from Topps. So we got some old school Topps here. Ivan De Jesus. Sid Mung. And then we got some nice old school flyers here. This is really cool. I'm not sure what year this is from, but if I had to uh, take a guess, I would probably say the 70s. Jim Watson, maybe the late 70s, judging by the players that are on here. Definitely. So this is really cool. I, I really don't have much flyers, so nice Bill Barber here. So this is really cool, so... Maybe I'll have to send a few of them out TTM. And here's some really nice 90s inserts. We got Eric Gallen here from Pinnacle. I can't even find the name on here. Hmm, not sure who that is. I'll have to take another look maybe when I'm done. Randall Cunningham. We know him. Ultimate Weapon from Select. Another Randall Cunningham from Thunder. So we got some late 80s. Early 90s Eagles here. Jason Dunn from Pinnacle. We got a Mike Mamula. Look at the shine on that card. Really beautiful. From Tops. I think that's Tops Finest, actually. Uh, nice Rodney Pete. And the shine on this card is ridiculous. Look at this. I really wish we had the variety that we did in the 90s with cards nowadays. But unfortunately, we don't with only two companies producing cards. In the case of football, we only have one company, so. Ricky Waters from Score. Fred Barnett. Clyde Simmons. And then to top it all off with this nice shiny Herschel Walker. So, Jay, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you thinking of me and sending me off those nice cards for my collection. And guys, I'm going to leave Jay McGillicuddy's link down below. Please go check him out. Really awesome YouTuber. And i um, really having a lot of fun watching his videos. So please go check him out. And then last but not least, I want to do a video response for my good buddy on here, Pepino Man Caesar. And he has a really interesting contest where he wants to know who is the first YouTuber you watch, who inspired you to make videos, who schooled you, who is the most passionate here, who is your favorite, and who do you watch the most? So I'm going to answer all six questions, and I'm going to try to keep it short, but I just want to add some perspective onto this, uh, because I, a lot of the, um, I'm really having a lot of fun watching the responses, but I noticed that not a lot of the old, older YouTubers who've been on here for a long time, maybe with the exception of Nate, because he was around the same time as me. So I'd like to see some of the guys who've been on here longer make some responses uh, for this contest. Because it would be really interesting to see who was first and who inspired. Because unfortunately a lot of the guys that were around during the like 2010, 2009 are, are just not on here anymore. But the first YouTuber who I ever watched was uh, the Autograph Network, Mike. Um, he's also the same one that inspired me to make videos. And I'll give a little backstory on that. Um, I was getting back into TTM and sending autographs through the mail uh, for sports, particularly baseball. And uh, I just one day went on YouTube and typed it in, TTM autographs, and Mike was the first one that popped up. And uh, this was in 2010. 
and I would say for close to a three to four month period, I watched, I was subscribed to Mike and watched his videos, always leaving comments, and um, Mike just went out of his way to really engage me in the comments and, you know, send messages back and forth to me, asking if I collected, and if I did collect, to uh, show my collection on YouTube. So he encouraged me to make videos, and eventually I did. I started making videos showing off what I was getting. And, um, yeah, so he was a big part in um, in me becoming involved and uh, making videos back in 2010. Um, he's also the same guy that schooled me, too, because he uh, showed me the resources available to find addresses and... He showed me sports card form, um, fanmail.biz, Star Tiger, uh, and also just how to uh, go on Google and locate an address uh, through other means. So, um, Mike was a huge part of the community. He's still involved, he's still out there making videos, and I'm really glad to see that. Uh, Mike, I, if you're watching, I hope you have an awesome time with Archer at WrestleMania. And, you know, Mike was just a big part of me um, joining. Uh, getting involved in this YouTube community. Uh, who's the most passionate? Um, I've been really uh, enjoying the responses on what people are saying for the most passionate. Um, but honestly, if you're making videos and you're taking the time out of your day to show off your collection and post it on social media sites like YouTube, you definitely are passionate. I mean, if you, you would not be passionate if you didn't do that stuff. I mean, you obviously have the drive to show off your collection to make videos, so there's definitely passion there. So everyone who makes a video or who takes the time to take a picture and post it on social media, they're obviously passionate about uh, their collection and their hobby and what they're doing. Uh, but if I had to just say one person, uh, I'm going to say a name that no one said yet, James, Fight on 52. Uh, he's a Bo Jackson super collector and um extremely passionate another another guy that i'll mention is clint cole hamels fan one uh biggest cole hamels collection there is uh i meant clint in person awesome guy and he both both him and james are super passionate and uh whenever they get a card in for their collection either bo jackson or cole hamels they're always super uh pumped to get it in and uh, add it to their uh pc so I would say those guys. Uh, who's your favorite YouTuber? I don't. I I honestly don't have a favorite YouTuber. Um, I have friends on here that as soon as I see their video, I'll click on it to watch. But I don't have a guy that I flock to or a girl I flock to all the time to watch on here. Um, like uh, like oh my god! Like I don't have a standout favorite person. Um, I like everyone equally, and I know that sounds really like PC or political, but it. It is what it is. I, I don't have a particular favorite. Whatever. Uh, but who do you watch the most? Now, this is an interesting question because for sh um, because I watch a lot. I mean, I watch people in the comic community. I watch people in the vinyl community. I watch people, you know, cards, TTMs, you name it. Uh, but probably the most would be Ricky Russo. Just for the sheer quality, quantity of videos that he posts from all the breaks. I think he posts like three to four videos a day. So just by numbers alone, I watch Ricky the most. Um, otherwise, I mean, if you're in my subscriber feed, I'm watching you. I'm checking out your videos. I noticed Mike O's been po Mike O posts a lot of videos too on, on his three separate channels. I mean, he, I would I would say Mike O too because he has Mike O, he has uh, the baseball vlog, he has the Ghostbuster vlog, and he has the Mike O videos. And usually during the summer, he'll post, he'll spread out his videos on those channels. So I would also say Mike O is another YouTuber I watch a lot. So um, that's it. So Pepino Man, thanks for the contest. I hope you enjoyed my response, guys. Get involved, make a response for Pepino Man. Really awesome contest. So thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Happy opening day and peace.